St. Louis Ballet will soon open its 2015 series at the Two Hill Performing Arts Center. And here today is Gen Horuchi, Artistic Director of the St. Louis Ballet, and Lauren Lane, one of its dancers. Welcome, Gen and Lauren. Thank so you. glad you could join Thank us. You. Thank you. This for is um, a busy time. You're probably in your last uh, week or days of rehearsals. and took time out to come here, so I appreciate that. Well, thank you. So St. Louis Ballet, why is St. Mm -hmm. Louis Ballet important to our region? Well, we are uh, the only professional ballet uh, organization who put together produ uh, productions like, you know, full-length ballets, mm -hmm. Nutcracker, contemporary pieces, and we present uh, four productions a year, October, December, February, and uh, early April mm -hmm. uh, at the Tuho Performing Arts Center. Mm -hmm. So the only mm -hmm. professional ballet company that's, that's headquartered right here in St. Louis, am I understanding that correctly? Correct. Okay, and your dancers, like Lauren, are coming from St. Louis or do they come mm -hmm. uh, from around the country? Dancers uh, come from all over the country. Mm -hmm. We do um, audition every year, uh, uh, February, March time, and over probably 100 applications. And then we select maybe a, down to like a few. Mm -hmm. But once you get hired, uh, we usually... Um, see many dancers uh, coming back year after year yeah. and so uh, but they do live in St. Louis yeah but originally they come from all over the country right so Lauren you're mm -hmm. a good example you've been with the company mm -hmm. since 2009 is that right uh, 2008 oh, I was close <laughs> yes um, yeah I've been here for a while I'm originally from Portland Oregon but um, as Gen said now St. Louis is my home and um, yeah I and do you work full-time as a dancer I mean, what is a, a dancer's life like um, being a dancer is definitely a pretty full-time job. Uh, we usually spend f uh, four hours rehearsing a day. We also have class time, mm -hmm. ballet class time in the morning, and a lot of us also cross-train, do yoga, go to the gym, um, just to keep our bodies working as, as good as they can so we can um, do well on stage. Absolutely. And, and are you typically performing in all four shows each year? Yes. Um, I would say almost all the dancers perform in all the shows that we do. Okay. So we're, yeah, we get to do a lot of performing, which is yeah, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> close to a family. And you, um, speaking of family, you come from a ballet family. Yeah, I, uh, my parents were actually both professional dancers, and they both went to the School of American Ballet, where um, Gen was for just a year or two, and then joined New York City Ballet. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, the ballet world is, is very connected. Yeah, and you, again, you have a, a long history in ballet as a dancer um, on Broadway mm -hmm. and around the world and mm -hmm. as a choreographer as, as well. Is uh, that correct? Yes. Yeah, I danced with uh, New York City Ballet for 15 years. Before that, um, I was born and raised in Tokyo, Japan. Mm -hmm. But again, just like Lauren, I grew up with my um, parents' uh, ballet studio actually so I was raised also in a ballet family interesting so then at the same time I uh, was lucky enough to uh, be dancing on Broadway and the Broadway musicals cats mm -hmm. song and dance and then I got to choreograph opening ceremony of the Nagano Winter Olympics in 1998 really mm -hmm. oh, that's very interesting yeah so your work mm -hmm. has been around the world well known and we've all seen it we all saw the mm -hmm. opening ceremony in yeah. 1998, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you can't forget an opening ceremony. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, um, so what's special about um, this, the first show that you're opening with this year? Well, we open uh, this uh, 2015 season with uh, Best of Balanchine. George Balanchine was a f the founder of New York City Ballet, and uh, also he was the artistic director when I first joined the company. And this is my 15th year uh, with uh, St. Louis Ballet, so it's very special for me, you know, personally even, to kind of present his work, you know, with this company. So you, yeah. you worked with him uh, yes. in, in New York, in New right. York City Ballet? Yeah, so okay. I'm just uh, absolutely great to revisit his work. And uh, Serenade is uh, one of the first ballets that he ever choreographed in America. Mm -hmm. And then Western Symphony is, you know, just cowboys and saloon girls and with a Hershey K uh, Western music. So mm -hmm. uh, it is just a great combination of the two. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it sounds like something very appealing to an audience as well. Yes. Very um, approachable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we're going to hear more about the season ahead and this fantastic balancing show. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with the St. Louis Ballet after this break.